In this video, I'm going to be testing the new Solon 110 panel. Now, I had this solar panel custom manufactured to specifications to make it easy to mount a power bank on the back and to replace the 8 watt panels that I had been using on the Solon 18 units. So I was really looking forward to charging my iPhone 6 on this new Solon 110. It has a dedicated iOS charging port. A quick search on Google shows that if you have a full 2 amp USB charger, you should be able to charge your iPhone 6 in a little over an hour and a half. So with my iPhone almost fully discharged with 7% left on the battery, I decided to set it out in the sun on the Solon 110 and see how long it takes to fully charge it. So I came back to check on it 40 minutes later and I was very surprised to see that it was already over half charged. So far, so good. So I forgot about it for a while. When I came back and checked, it was fully charged in an hour and 40 minutes. So I'd say in about an hour and a half from 7%, this little panel here in the morning sun fully charged my iPhone. So it makes a great lightweight USB charger. You can just clip it on something, charge your USB devices, and you're good to go. Okay, so in the past I've tried USB current meters to read the current output of a USB device. The problem is these solar chargers have pulsed DC and it really messes with that and it's not an accurate way to measure them. So what I've come up with is charging a boost pack. Uh, I charge the boost pack to 5 volts and I time how long it takes. It makes a great baseline to do comparison between panels. So we'll start a test here with the Solon 110 and see how long it takes to charge it to 5 volts. Now I've done this test with other panels so I could tell already that it was charging very very quickly. I have the uh, boost pack plugged into the Android power bank port on the solar charger and it's incredible to see it charge up to 5 volts in just a few seconds. You know 22 seconds we're at 5 volts so pretty amazing. So now we'll do the same test on the 8 watt panel. Now this 8 watt panel is a great panel for its time. I did a lot of testing with a lot of different solar panels before I arrived at using the 8 watt panels. And uh, you'll see though that they charge a lot slower than the new Solon 110. And considering that they're approximately the same size, the uh, Solon 110 is a little more narrow, a little taller. But they're, you know, they're very comparable in size, but the charge difference in charging time is, is really marked. If you notice, we're already coming up here on the uh, 22 second mark and we're about a volt and a half. So the Solon 110 really wins hands down for faster charging. Uh, I'm really excited with it. I think it's going to be a great panel for backpacking, for keeping your uh, USB power devices charged up while you're out in the field, as well as uh, the complete Solon 110 kit design where you couple this up with a USB battery bank. Okay, so I'm doing some ambient light testing with the Solon 110. And we're just here in my house, and uh, so this is just indoor lighting. And you can see that little uh, solar panel is putting enough energy to start to illuminate that USB bulb. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to take it outside, and uh, this is the north facing side of my house. So this is the shaded side and of the house. Coming out here more, you can see it's, it's just getting brighter. And uh, I just love a solar panel that produces energy that you know even when it's not in direct sunlight so very very cool we're going to test it with a fan as well okay so this is a USB powered fan that I have plugged in and uh, we're going to do a test with it and bring it out into the ambient light and you can see that the fan has started right up if we bring this out uh, into the direct sunlight you can see the fan speeding up and now it's really on 